I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Learning just how good God is to you in Christ. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, donate. If you love our videos, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, ring the bell for notifications, and donate your tax-deductible gift, given right there, keeps us, Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation, keeps us a rolling. And in a pandemic, we need your gifts in these dark times. All right. Yesterday, or last week, we had, um, we did four and five, and I and that video is in the corner. Or in the description. I think we should like say, please put it in the corner. I I Eucharist. I thank God. Eucharist, that's a word that means the Lord's Supper normally. Eucharisto. Um, so I would say this is in the context of the Lord's Supper. I thank my God, always remembering you in my prayer. So when he's standing in front of uh, the altar and he's praying to God, he remembers them in my prayers hearing of your love and your faith, um, which you have in toward the Lord Jesus and um, in all the saints. We talked about that last week. Um, so that the communion, that's tomorrow's video short. We want to keep that from there. So that the communion of your faith would be um, inner gaze. Um, that's energetic, active. Um, I don't want to use effective. That brings in a lot of, of uh, Augustine, and that's a song for another time. Um, so that the communion of your faith, we'll look at communion tomorrow, koinonia, the communion of your faith would be, would be energetic. In the recognition or knowledge, epigenose, of all the good in us, ace Christon Yesun. A lot of times people try to translate ace Christon Yesu in a as a as a um as like a dative of of advantage. All the good in us in Christ. Um, like for the sake of Christ, but I don't really think that that's the best way of doing it. It's because it's a it can't be a date of advantage because it's an accusative. So what I would do is take the ace and use it as in Christ again. In us, in Christ Jesus. Okay? All right. Um, and then verse seven. For I have derived, or I have, um, I have much joy um, and comfort in your love because the splagna, the hearts of the holy ones, the saints, are revived and livened through you, brother. We'll get to that next one next week. Okay. Um, so I've heard of, I pray all the time for you. All right. In the liturgy, I pray all the time for you. Because I heard of your faith and love, which you have for all the saints and in Christ Jesus. And my prayer is so that, who pulls, the communion of your faith would be active. Um, for in 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 the recognition of the good, all the good. In us, in Christ Jesus. So, so everything is moving toward God's being good to us. So he's praying for them so that when they go to communion, tomorrow's video, the communion of their faith would be alive and energetic. So that the body, because the body and blood isn't a dead thing, it would enliven them. But it would enliven them to the recognition of all the good that God is doing in us, in Christ Jesus. And he includes himself in there. It's not in you, but in us. As he includes himself in there, he's doing good. 
See, that's the deal. God wants you not only to believe that there's a God, that's not enough for God. God is, very, it's very important that you believe that the God who made you is good. He looked at what he had made and it was good. Then he looked at all he'd made and it was very good. Genesis 1 and 2. God is very good. I love that. When folks say, God is good all the time. And that's usually when things work out. I've never heard somebody go, I, I, I just had to declare bankruptcy. All right, I can't pay my bills. God is good all the time. But he is. And you only learn that through the communion, the fellowship, the, 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 the koinonia of your faith. You only learn that God is good by receiving him in the body and blood. Apart from the body and blood of Jesus, apart from your baptism, apart from the gifts, God looks indifferent. The rain falls on the just and the unjust. But when you look at Calvary, when you look at the suffering and death of Jesus, you simply have to conclude that God's going to be good to you. After all, he didn't spare his own son. If you look at the suffering and death of Jesus, you must conclude that God loves you. Not only that, but he loves you more than he loves his son because he gave up his son to save you. So that means that anything that befalls you, anything that befalls you, anything that befalls you, good, bad, healthy, not healthy, cancer, virus, negative test result, all of it, God is good all the time. All the time means also in bad times, not just the good times. And you know that from the communion, the fellowship of your faith. Fellowship is a not helpful translation there. Tomorrow, not going to do it. Going to save it to tomorrow. Because of the communion of your faith. That it, would, that it would give you an awareness of all the good in us, in Christ Jesus. He's good. How do you know? Jesus Christ and him crucified. It screams it. Or another way of saying it, which is true to the, the little book of Philemon, how do I know he's good? He gives me his body and blood. He delivers to me all that happened with his son. I'm Pastor George Borkart, and I'm letting sleeping dogs eat treats. And this has been another Higher Things video short.